When we combine these thoughts, we can look at what should be the interactive pattern and we get the idea about how these principles become the basis of governance. We can start looking at and making sense of this figure from the uh, lowermost circle, concentric circle which is self. self as we discussed in the previous session is constituted by not only physical body, it has mental body, emotional body, uh, Anandamaya Kosh, the bliss body. Self interacts with society through five rinas or five yagnas. So, what is the basis of interaction of self with society? Are Devarin, Pitrarin, Bhutarin, Narin and Brahmarin. That is the basis on which uh, interaction between Vyakti and society take place. So, the Vyakti do not have contract, Vyakti have a purpose of yagna, interaction of yagna with society, with the collective, what is also called samasti. Business organizations are also made up of the individuals. Here, the individuals offer their swadharma, offer their competency, that runs organization. Organization not only are liable to give them salary, organizations have to strive, have to aim at providing yoga chain, complete care of individual because self or individual is offering their swadharma, their all the competencies. So, that should be the exchange, that should be the ideal exchange between individual and organization. Organization and society has to be governed not based on only artha. Like individual, organizations have also to pursue all four objectives, which is dharma, artha, kam and moksha. Organizations cannot remain, organization cannot just focus on kam and artha, wealth creation and sense pleasure. If they only concern about that, then it will not be good for the social environment as well as natural environment. And now we are seeing that, that and we are also seeing the recognition of the fact and that is why people, planet and profit all three are considered to be equally important pursuits of business. So, organization have to interact with society through not just by enhancing consumption, but they also have to perform yajna and lokasangra and I have already explained what is yajna and what is lokasangra. So, this is the ideal representation of individual, organization and society interaction in the yogic tradition. This overall interaction is called integral humanism as explained uh, in the basic text called Daishik Shastra by Duldhariya Badrisha that was contemporized and explained in very simple and scientific and logical terms by Dindyal Upadhyay in 1965 and uh, combining all these things, uh, there is another work uh, of uh, uh, Pandey A which talks about how these notions can be understood in the context of management. Now, the question is these values are fine are these values practiced in the real life? Answer is yes and this can be explained with another recent paper by Mohanoth, Pratap and Saha in very reputed journal titled Organization, where they looked at governance of Marwari capital. 
in the Marwadi community where these scholars studied what are the principles which govern the capitalist system, which govern the business system, which governs the community of the Marwadis, they found that most of the businesses are the partnerships. There is a clear moral control on uh, uh, misreporting in the partnership relations. These are not very different from yam and niyam of yogic tradition. Another important thing, very interesting thing is that 1 percent partnership money is assigned to DT. That means, DT, Ishtadev, they also become one of the partners in the firm. So, if one partner draw money in an illegal way, immoral way, he or she is not only uh, doing harm to the another partner, it is also betraying the deity, the Ishtadeva. And suddenly, uh, because of this being a, a dharmic society, people would not like to betray their Ishtadeva. So, this is spiritual principle of Ishtadeva is very well integrated in the business governance. Now, what do I do with the surplus? I take out money which is justified from the surplus, but I also have to pass on that surplus to my DT. Now, DT is not uh, 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 walking, eating DT, DT is the divine. So, what do you do for them? So, for them you build uh, uh, you construct temples, you start uh, uh, other uh, service oriented ventures, you start uh, helping people in education, providing food etcetera etcetera, which is very similar to uh, what we study in the corporate social responsibility. So, you here you can see that this is only one example. In India, we can see many many examples of several communities where spiritual principles and economic principles are well integrated in their ventures, in their businesses, in their so called worldly activities. Actually, in yogic tradition, we consider body, mind and spirit of equal importance. So, moral, spiritual and physical realms are distinct, but they are not disjointed and they are the basis for each other. And these principles are not only individual centric principles, there are societies, there are systems and this paper is only one example of that, those kind of system where these spiritual principles and economic principles are well integrated.